Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the second, could be the third, could be next week, because you know the timing is fluid. This reading is not sign specific. Let's see what we got. What do we have for a message today? What do we have? There could be some sort of, of uh, well, I saw the Knight of Cups, okay? So that's like an offer of love or loving gesture. He's, you know, this is wanting romance. It could be the beginning of a romance. It could be, it's like a romantic gesture of some sort. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It's, a lo it's an offer of love, okay? Acting out of love with the Knight of Cups. Ten of Wands reversed. Justice reversed. There's an injustice of some sort. Now, with with uh, the Capricorn, the Jupiter and Capricorn, which I believe is happening on the 2nd, there's going to be some karma that is served with this change that is happening. Because Capricorn means business, okay? So I think there's going to be some karmic business that is dealt with in the, on this day. Or the very, or it's happening now. Now this is a card of freedom and collapse with the Ten of Wands reversed. Now this is dropping something. Something is being dropped. This could be like case closed. <laughs> That's what I heard, case closed. This could be the end of a karmic situation as well. But this is bad karma in reversed. Now, these are both cards of balance. But both of them are reversed. They are. So balance is waiting. Somebody is needing to find balance. Things are very much unbalanced because there's been a lack of fairness. Somebody's been overwhelmed. They've been burdened. They've been hanging on to some baggage. And the only way that they're going to find balance is to drop something. Release. Stop holding on with the Ten of Wands re reverse. It's like, let it go. What the hell? Why are you holding on to this? Hmm. This is karma. Bad karma. Somebody's going to receive bad karma. Because it, the only reason this person has been holding on is because they've been trying to prove something, how strong they are. And because they won't, they refuse to let go, they got something to prove. And it, it's just, they can't even see where they're going. They don't know what they're doing. It's just stupid. So somebody is really being dumb, trying to, to prove themselves. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So we have somebody here that's that's being ridiculous by the looks of things, trying to to carry something that doesn't even <clears throat> don't even need to. They don't even need to carry it. There's no reason. Oh, let's 
like that somebody it's like balance is waiting balance is waiting but you have to let go you have to release it's time to stop holding on i mean come on now the empress empress this is the birth of a new life through all the pain and the suffering you receive a reward Somebody could be moving home. There could be a change in the home. Something. <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with my throat. It's not from smoking. Because I haven't been smoking. Just so you know. Maybe it's my throat clearing out all the toxins. <laughs> it could be. <clears throat> Anyhow. This is coming to a complete halt. Something being stopped. Look at these tens. Two tens, they're both reversed. So it's like there's something that is ending. And this is the birth of a new life. Could have something to do with an actual birth. But this is a change in the home front that may seem like it's really unfair. It Maybe it is unfair. This is a stoplight. Stop. Stop. Now, this is dropping weight. So this is, somebody is dropping something that they have been holding on to. For sure. Karma may be paying them, them a visit in some way. This is somebody who is stable and secure. But this is very unstable. So we have somebody here that is very unstable. Seriously. Huh. Unstable home. Somebody is in a very unstable home. And it's not right. They're not getting the justice they deserve. They're not be getting what they deserve. They may not be getting the tender, loving care that they deserve because she is a mother. And somebody is like, somebody deserves tender, loving care and they're not getting it. Interesting. Now, the Knight of Cups that I saw, maybe somebody coming in to be, maybe somebody coming in to offer support. And the Knight of Cups takes action to bring love. So that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Anyway, this chariot reverse, this is uh, a loss of direction. Somebody lost their direction and, there, and there's no victory here. There's no success. No success in building up a strong foundation. No success in building up stability. We have somebody here that has a really big ego, has a lot of pride, and they get angry. Somebody is probably going to get angry, and they may have made some poor choices based on, well, we've been talking about this a lot, based on materialistic things. Somebody probably acted impulsively. And there's probably going to be some anger. There is. This person is unreasonable, very un So we have an unreasonable individual here that is probably selfish, self-centered.
There's definitely an injustice. We have an imbalance here. Somebody is truly not getting the tender, loving care that they deserve. And I feel like it's going to come to a complete halt. It's like karma comes in and stops something. It just stops this injustice from happening. And if you don't believe in karma, then you go watch somebody else. It's going to fill you up with whatever. This is totally karmically related. Somebody is going to receive some bad luck or some bad karma for not treating or taking care of a person the way that they should have or taking care of themselves or whatever it is. We do have a better opportunity here. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been, they've been lying. They have with the justice reversed. Lying about their stability. They may have said that they were stable, but they're not really not stable. What is this empress? The empress gives birth. She is, she's a caregiver. Could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be dealing with a Libra here or a Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, seizing a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity here. Somebody is seeing that there is a better opportunity for love with somebody that will actually uh, mother them, take care of them, love them. So somebody sees that there's a better opportunity for love. This is seeing an opportunity. It's like, I see it. I see it. After there's been some sort of lack of emotionally fulfill, fulfillment at home, there's been no stability, there's been no security, it hasn't been comfortable. Queen of Cups. Now this is love. It's all about love. But this person hasn't been giving love. You notice the cup is on the cover, on the, I mean the cover is on the cup. This person hasn't been giving love like they should have. But I think that is coming to an end. Because I think there's somebody else here that does love and is, is ready. Is ready. It's like this. It's, it's, it's ready. So there is an opportunity for love here after somebody has not been loved. It's like somebody is seeing that there is a better opportunity and they're taking it. It's like they're taking this better opportunity. It's like they're stopping something right in their tracks. They're not going to let themselves be a victim to this unrequited love situation anymore. This is abandonment. Somebody may have may be being ghosted or abandoned or they have in the past and they've been refusing to let go but if this is the end of in abandonment with the five of pentacles reversed not going to stay in this place of lack anymore it's the end of difficulty it's coming out of the darkness it's coming out of abandonment from somebody that would not open up emotionally that's what's happening here It's like there is a new opportunity for love with somebody that is more uh, nurturing. Okay, this person is very nurturing. This is a conscious change, the Ten of Wands reversed. And this is definitely karmically related. It's like karma is changing somebody's direction. They are. And they're bringing, this is, a, this is a reward. The Empress gives birth to a miracle. This is a miracle. This is a blessing. Could be a blessing in disguise because the only way you're able to become the Empress is through pain and suffering. Okay? So, through the pain and suffering, you are going to receive a blessing for enduring this pain. So, somebody is going to receive a blessing that they were been waiting for obviously but when the time is right the time is right that's when you get that blessing i feel like it's time it's time yes it is time this is a yes somebody has manifested a new beginning i feel as though 
there it's like i'm willing to shed the old to bring in the new this is this is as above so below it's like a wish is being granted and this may, may have been a subconscious wish that you subconsciously asked for and now your prayers are being answered this is shedding the old and bringing in the new This is also a divine oneness. It's a divine connection. It's like somebody has asked for something or they have, uh, it's like called in something and here it is. The answer is yes. Your aunt, this is a yes card. Yes, here it is. So I feel as though there is about to be a change at home. There is with that Ten of Pentacles, or in your job with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. It's some sort of establishment. The Ten of Pentacles is an establishment where you built up something. And now it's, it's reversed. So there's going to be a change. Something is ending. Okay. There's no more stability there. There's no more security there. But there's, this is a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise because there's a better opportunity. That's what this is. And you asked for it. This is what you asked for. That wasn't working out anyway. Here you go. For those of you that have manifested something good. And then you have acted with integrity. And you have good character. Something good is coming. For those of you that have not. For those of you that have been self-centered. And egotistical. And prideful. And lied. And not told the truth. This is bad karma. Karma works in both ways. We got two stories here. We got one person that is going to... <laughs> be dropped by the looks of things. They may be released. Okay? They may be. They may be uh, thought of as baggage. Okay? Your baggage. Your old news. Your old goods damaged goods you know they may be thought of as that it's like this is this i don't even want to hold on to you anymore so this is this is like bad karma and over here we have a blessing that is coming in we have this person that is tender loving care that is going to receive a blessing so we got on one hand we got somebody that is receiving a blessing and this person that has endured pain I feel like this person is receiving a gift. This person over here is receiving bad karma. For their inability to act with integrity. Oh yeah, we have a contract that is coming to an end. I want to see what this person is is happening over here. This is this is a, this is a disagreement or an argument or the end of a union, the end of a partnership. This is a breakup. This is a split. This isn't compatible. This isn't meant to be. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's just not right. So we have a union that is breaking up that is not meant to be because there's no compatibility and there's too much arguing and there's too much strife. It's just not it was a poor choice. Somebody made a poor decision to get involved with a contract that was very seductive. To get involved with a union that looked really good. But it probably right from the beginning, they knew that it wasn't right. But they did it anyway because of ego. Because of uh, social pressure, right? We talk about social pressure a lot. And that's a big, big deal. Okay? Somebody's uh, uh, need to fulfill the society's uh, standards and pressures and whatever has... Uh, is bringing them some bad karma because it's like you were you were trying to to prove that this was something that it wasn't we talked about that it's like trying to prove it to be more than it was something like that um there could be some legal issues that don't go in somebody's favor okay somebody could start to feel some sort of pressure because or they may be feeling pressure or they may be feeling really upset and angry because there's there's something that doesn't go in their fav favor in the in the legal arena 
Um, there's definitely been an injustice. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. And there's a contract that is coming to the end. These are both contracts. Um, we could be dealing with Gemini. could be dealing with a Libra. Um, we have Gemini a couple times. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have somebody here that is super egotistical. I mean, their their ego is through the freaking roof. And they're losing. They are losing on something. There's a loss here. And they're losing because of their pride and their, and their ego and their inability to... Um, it's almost like their inability to, to negotiate or to work together or to... Um, it's work together. It is work together. It's like because they their 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 pride and ego is so big that now they're experiencing some sort of loss. I know that this is a loss. I know that it is. Um There's probably going to be a conflict. Okay? There is going to be a conflict with the lovers reversed. Somebody was lying about their stability. They were lying about their commitment or their or their marriage or something like that. But this is uh, being freed. Somebody is about to become free or released. If there is there is released, so I, I mean, this just came to my mind. And I don't say this ever, but somebody could be being released from jail or prison. That could be good karma. Just saying. Um, but this is, this is an obstacle being removed. Somebody is getting unstuck from, somebody is being broken free from some sort of confinement. And it's as if... It's the answer. It's the answer to their prayers or to somebody else's prayers. Somebody's prayers are being answered by the divine. This is a divine connection, and somebody else is going to receive karma. So on, because that's what that's what justice is. On one, there you know, there's good and bad. Okay, that's what the balance is. So on one hand, somebody's going to get something good, and on the other hand, somebody's going to get something bad. So if you acted in good character, you're going to receive a reward. If you acted in bad character, you're going to receive some karma. Be prepared. Be prepared. Um, somebody's probably going to be abandoned. Okay, I'm sorry. But I do see a ban abandonment here. Somebody may be abandoned. It's, all, it's as if, you know what, I, I, I don't want you anymore. I don't want your baggage to me, or this is baggage. It's it's not healthy. This is like dropping dead weight from the from the plane. You know what I mean? It's like dropping the dead weight. Um, there's definitely going to be anger. I think that we have somebody here that's going to get very angry. Um, I think that um, we have somebody here that is very very unstable. And insecure, and it's as though I don't know what I wanted to say is it's as though magically, this is magic, magically, things go in a different direction, however, that resonates with you. This is an obstacle being removed and it's mental conflict. It's coming out of a mental trap. It's being freed from a false contract that really isn't meant to be where somebody wasn't being treated fairly. They weren't getting what they deserved and it has to do with being at home or at work or something. It's either a work contract or a union or a partnership or a family dynamic where there is going to be a change and it is. I think it's going to happen overnight. I think it's going to happen in an instant and I don't need the Eight of Wands to say that or the Ace of Wands. I think it's going to happen very suddenly. Suddenly somebody is going to be cut loose. Just like 
that and this is this is driven by karma and it's like they're going to be cut loose and they're going to be given a bigger better opportunity where there is more uh love because she's in abundance the empress is love and abundance it truly is a dream come true so if you are a good person be prepared to receive a reward. If you are a bad person, God be with you. Good luck.